Hello everyone, you read the latest market news on April the 12th, 2021. Microsoft to buy speech recognition software firm Microsoft is in talks to buy speech and text recognition solutions developer Nuance Communications, Inc. for about $16 billion, several media outlets have reported, cited informed sources. Negotiations are at an advanced stage, they said, and an announcement of the deal could be made in the coming days. Burlington, Massachusetts-based Nuance, whose speech recognition technology helped launch Apple Inc.'s Siri Assistant, makes software for industries ranging from healthcare to automotive. Microsoft is offering to pay $56 per Nuance share, 23% about their closing market price on Friday. If negotiations are successful, the deal would be the second largest for Microsoft after its $27 billion acquisition of LinkedIn in 2016, CNBC notes. Microsoft's share price were up 1% at the close of trading on Friday, while Nuance was up 0.8%. China finds Alibaba for violating antitrust laws. China imposed a record fine of 18 billion yuan, $2.75 billion, on Alibaba Group holding LTD on Saturday after an antitrust probe found that the e-commerce giant had abused its dominant market position for several years. The fine, which amounts to about 4% of Alibaba's domestic revenue in 2019, comes amid pressure on tech conglomerates and indicates that China's antitrust law on Internet platforms has entered a new era after years of a non-interference approach. In addition, to imposing a fine, which is one of the biggest antitrust penalties in the world, the regulator has ordered Alibaba to strengthen internal compliance and consumer protection. Meanwhile, Ant expects to sharply lower its valuations and restrain some of its businesses. Shares in Alibaba Group holding LTD rose 8% after the announcement. Global stocks await corporate reports and U.S. data. Asian shares fell on Monday as worried investors wait to see if U.S. earnings can live up to sky-high estimates, while a rally in bonds could be checked by what should be a very strong showing of U.S. inflation and retail sales this week. MSCI Asia-Pacific's broadest equity index outside Japan was 1.1% lower, while Tokyo's Nikkei was down 0.6%. Chinese blue chips lost 1.5% ahead of a surge in economic data from the country. Nasdaq futures fell 0.3% on Monday. Day as did S&P 500 futures, Eurostox 50 futures fluctuated on both sides, while FTC futures fell 0.3%. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said over the weekend that the economy was about to start growing much faster, although the coronavirus is still a threat. Data this week is expected to show that U.S. inflation jumped in March, while retail sales may have even jumped by double digits. India Gold trade and rises to peaks on return demand. India's gold imports rose in March to the highest monthly figure in almost two years as falling prices spurred demand for jewelry during the ongoing wedding season. Overseas purchases rose more than sevenfold from 13 tons a year earlier to 98.6 tons last month. This would be the highest since May 2019. Imports in the first three months of 2021 more than doubled from the world's second largest consumer to nearly 190 tons. Gold futures in India are down about 17 percent from August's record high, boosting demand during the wedding season and ahead of next month's Shkaya Tritia, the second most auspicious day for buying gold according to the Hindu calendar. However, the resurgence of virus cases and travel and business restrictions in some states is worrying jewelers as it could jeopardize the revival of sales.